Welcome everyone. This is fabulous to see you all here on a Sunday afternoon, beautiful day in New York. I know you have a zillion other things to probably do, but to have you all here celebrating with us this afternoon in anticipation of tomorrow evening, it's really wonderful. My name is Suzanne Tucker. I'm on the board of the ICAA here. I'm from Northern California chapter in San Francisco. And I'm also the co-chair, along with Bunny Williams and Gil Schaefer, for our 2017 Arthur Ross Awards. We are delighted to welcome you here to celebrate our 2017 Arthur Ross Award winners, and especially pleased to be celebrating our very first recipient of the Award for Emerging Excellence in the Classical Tradition. Thank you to our Prince's Foundation and to IMBO, Intbau, excuse me, in their collaboration with us on sponsoring and launching this really wonderful award. I'm your MC for the evening, not Billy Crystal. Could try. Johnny Carson was the best. <laughs> and um, I'm very proud to introduce uh, two speakers initially, Richard Driehaus and Simon Sadinsky. Simon Sadinsky, as head of the education of the Prince's Foundation for Building Community. He, Simon has overseen a portfolio of education programs and academic partnerships which equip professionals, graduates, students, and the public with skills that they need to design, build, and preserve sustainable communities. Programs range from postgraduate courses in topics such as sustainable urbanism and sustainable engineering through to apprenticeship and training programs in traditional building crafts and a range of ex executive education and short courses. Simon himself has a background in educational program management, both in the UK and internationally, with a particular focus on the sectors of urban planning and community development. He holds a master's in population and development from the London School of Economics and a master's in urban planning and policy from the University of Illinois in Chicago. In addition to his role with the Prince's Foundation, Simon currently serves as a trustee of a small educational charity in the Sierra Leone and is a common room member at Kellogg College, University of Oxford. Simon is a dual UK and US citizen, bravo Simon. Before moving to London, Simon spent four years living in Chicago where his favorite activity was the architecture boat tours down the Chicago River. Love that. And Richard Driehaus, I'm not sure in this crowd needs much of an introduction, but as you all know, mostly, that Richard is an American fund manager, businessman, and philanthropist extraordinaire. Founder of Driehaus Capital Management, LLC, he is a passionate advocate for placemaking and placekeeping and the importance of humanistic values in new architecture. To this end, he established the Richard H. Driehaus Prize in the United States and the Rafael Manzano Prize in Spain. Mr. Driehaus is the winner of the 2015 American Institute of Architects Lifetime Achievement Award for his contributions to architecture in Chicago and worldwide. Here at the ICA, he is legendary to us. Our constant supporter and advocate, dedicated board member, with generosity that has buoyed and built the Institute to what it is today in guiding us into our future. I welcome both Richard and Simon to the podium. Thank you for those comments. Good evening. I am grateful for the opportunity to say a few words about the importance of community and collaboration. It's nice to see both embodied in the vision for the Award for Emerging Excellence in the Classical Tradition being presented tonight for the first time. Powerful and lasting ideas are not born in a vacuum. Rather, 
They emerge along a continuum, informed by the work of others. The past is always present in the future. I have likewise come to understand that we do our best and most impactful work as a community where many voices are heard. This new award reinforces three ideas. It is the result of collaboration between three organizations. It underscores the importance of high quality instruction and membership. It will have a lasting impact to the next generations of classicists. I applaud the leadership of Interbau, ICAA, and the Prince's Foundation for Building Community for establishing this award. Together, they are helping build us a more beautiful future. Thank you for so many showing up. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Richard, for those words and indeed for all of your support uh, within this field. Uh, thank you also to Peter Leiden and everyone else from the ICAA uh, for putting this wonderful evening together. Uh, my name is Simon Sadinsky. I am the head of education at the Prince's Foundation for Building Community whose president, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, is a previous Arthur Ross Award winner, and as I'm sure is no surprise to anyone in this room, a really driven and passionate supporter of this field. Uh, I'm also in some ways up here representing IMPBAU, the uh, International Network for Traditional Building, Architecture, and Urbanism, another of the Prince's charities uh, with chapters in over 27 countries. Uh, I know I speak for both the Prince's Foundation and for IMPBAU when I say how thrilled I am to be up here presenting in partnership with the ICAA this award, which really sits so core to everything that we believe in. Um, I'm also really pleased to announce tonight that, thanks to the generosity of an anonymous donor, we'll be able to present our award winner with a prize of $2,500, which I think is really fantastic. <laughs> and there'll be news to you. Uh, so in my role as head of education at the Princess Foundation, uh, as was detailed earlier, I, I oversee a diverse range of education programs varying in scope from master's degrees in sustainable urbanism and partner, with partners such as Oxford University uh, through to training programs in the traditional building crafts. And really at the heart of these programs is the belief in sort of the vital importance of training the next generation of architects, craftspeople, and urbanists. Uh, so it's with that particular ethos in mind that I really am thrilled to be partnering with the ICAA. We are thrilled to be partnering with the ICAA in delivering this award and why the work of our award winner, sculptor Emily Bedard, uh, speaks so, so strongly to me. Uh, so Emily holds a BFA in sculpture and is currently the sculpture director at Foster Reeve Architectural and Ornamental Plaster. Uh, she is also the former winner of the ICAA's Stanford Whites Awards. Um, and from what I hear, the judging process was extremely competitive with a lot of strong candidates. However, it really was Emily's work that, that stood out and, and shined. And as he, they say it a bit more eloquently than I can, I thought I would read a few words from one of the judges who helped make the selection. He says, Emily possesses a rare talent of artisanal craft that is exceptional for someone of her age. Her eye for beauty and ability to create transcendental works is truly inspiring and encouraging to both viewers and peers in her field. Equally, her attention to detail and conviction in making an inanimate material a work of lively beauty makes the employment of her talents the envious desire of clients and architects alike. That we look forward to the years ahead and watching this blossoming American sculptor develop her talents and are delighted that she is the first recipient of this new award, Emerging Excellence in the Classical Tradition. Uh, so, yes. So with that background, I'm sure we would all actually like to see some examples of the work in question. So I think we have some slides detailing the work.
Let's we'll have another round of applause. <laughs> and I think I probably speak for everyone in this room when I say that is truly awe-inspiring work. It's really spectacular, really spectacular. And I think with that, I will in invite you up to receive the award and to say a few words. Thank you, Simon, for those words. Thank you so much to everyone for being here tonight. It is such an honor to be here with all of you. Um, congratulations to the Arthur Ross Award winners who are here tonight. Uh, thank you for being here, and I look forward to the discussion to follow in a few moments. And too importantly, thank you to the Institute of Classical Architecture and Art the Prince's Foundation for Building Community, and the International Network for Traditional Building, Architecture, and Urbanism, um, and the Prince's Foundation, did I say that already, uh, for putting this event together, <laughs> uh, and for deciding that I should be the first recipient of this new award for emerging, class emerging excellence in the classical tradition. I am so happy to see such dedication to cultivating the next generation of classicists around the world. When I decided to follow a career in classical sculpture, little did I know that I would find a community such as this that would provide me with the support and mentorship that I now consider so inseparable from my practice. And so, as I am honored today, know that I do not stand up here alone, as my success would not be possible without the many people who have worked alongside me. The projects we have seen on the screen would, would have not materialized without the initiative and collaboration of my team members, fellow craftsmen, architects, designers, and builders who are working tirelessly to see these projects to fruition. Thank you to those who have recognized my creative potential and who have given me the opportunity to be a part of something much larger than myself. And so, as we move forward on this collaborative path and continue to test the boundaries of the classical language, let us be on the lookout in our studios, our offices, job sites, and classrooms for those young people with the desire to grow and who perhaps need a little help. Let us support and encourage them and show them that a community exists, the community right here in this room that will welcome and uplift them and help them, uh, help them see their dreams come true. <laughs> Thanks to all of you for being here tonight and have a great evening. Thank you. <laughs>